Um, hey everyone, welcome to RuCode. Today we're exploring one of the standout features of RuCode, custom modes. These custom modes are one of the standout features of RuCode that enhance its capabilities as a powerful AI coding agent. Why? Because custom modes let you tailor the AI's behavior to fit your specific workflow, giving you complete control over how you set up and develop your projects. Whether you're tweaking the initial prompt sent to the AI or defining detailed rules, custom modes put the power in your hands. And the best part, they're not even that hard to set up. You can create your own modes or just tap into modes shared by the RuCode community. Stick around because I'm going to walk you through exactly how to create these custom modes step by step. So let's dive in. We shall start on the RuCode homepage. Look for this book icon in the top panel. Hover over it and you'll see it labeled as prompts. Click on that icon and a panel will slide open. In this panel, you can see sections where you can define your custom modes, configure the profile tied to it, and add specific instructions. You can also see some default modes provided by RuCode here, but we're here to make our own modes. So let's click on the Create New Mode option. It is marked by this plus icon right here. A new window pops up. This is where we shall build our new mode. Here is how it works. First, we will give our mode a name. Make it descriptive, something like React Specialist. Next, we set the slug. This is a unique identifier, usually in lowercase with hyphens. By default, it is the same as your mode name. However, if you want to, you can change it. For now, we shall leave it as it is. Now we need to decide how to save this mode. It can either be saved globally, which would allow you to use this mode with all the projects you build with Roo, or you can make this mode project specific. Next, we define the rules. This is where you tell the AI how it should behave. For example, you can set rules like always format code this way or flag these types of errors. This is what defines the mode. We need to be really precise with our instructions here. After that, choose the tools available to this mode. This will give the mode access to these actions. Finally, we can add specific instructions for this mode itself. You should tailor it to your project's needs. However, this is an optional step. Feel free to experiment with this if you want. Once you've got everything set, hit Create Mode, and it's done. Your custom mode is ready to be used. Now, if you're a bit more tech savvy, there is another way to create these modes by using JSON. You look for these curly bracket icon in the same window. Click on it and choose where to save your mode. A JSON editor will pop up. You can paste or write your mode's configuration here, all in JSON format. Once done, hit Save, review the mode, and click Done. And your mode is set. This is perfect for advanced setups or for sharing modes with others. You can also find custom modes created by other users, ready to import into your workflow. Just check out our docs on the website. Go to the Community Pages section and find the mode that you need. The modes listed here are well tested by multiple users and have been proven effective. You can simply copy these modes with the help of the Copy button here and paste the content in JSON format, as we showed earlier. And you are done. If you like this deep dive, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and ring that notification bell for more tips from RuCode officially. Got questions about custom modes or ideas for how you'd use them? Drop them in the comments or join our Discord server. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.